ريكتو فاجينال فيستولا باي رامي محمد النجار today we'll discuss ريكتو فاجينال فيستولا to understand ريكتو فاجينال فيستولا is an abnormal communication between the rectum and the vagina ريكتو فاجينال فيستولا are classified on the basis of location, size and etiology each of which affects the treatment plan and the prognosis as you see in the diagram this is the vagina this is the rectum here is this abnormal canal connecting the both called the rectovaginal fistula. Uh, the rectovaginal septum is the thin septum separating the anterior rectal wall and the posterior vaginal wall. The caudal portion of the septum is the perineal body. The anal sphincters are located in the posterior portion of the perineal body. A more precise definition is that. A lower rectovaginal fistula is between the lower third of the rectum and the lower half of the vagina. While high fistula is between the middle third of the rectum and the posterior vaginal folds. So we have low fistula and high fistula. Low fistula are closest to the anus and they can be corrected with a perineal approach. While high fistula require a transabdominal approach for repair. Rectovaginal fistulas may vary greatly in size, but most of them are less than 2 cm in diameter, and they are classified into small sized fistulas less than 0.5 cm, while medium sized fistulas between 0.5 to 2.5 cm, while large sized fistulas more than 2.5 cm. Etiology of rectovaginal fistula, as in any fistulas, may be traumatic. Inflammatory, neoplastic, or post irradiation. Traumatic, the cause to cause is the aesthetical trauma. Also, surgical trauma or direct trauma. Inflammatory, as pelvic abscess, TB, or Crohn's disease. In neoplasm, it may invading the uh, vagina and the rectum. And the post irradiation, if the patient has uh, cancer and uh, in the brain. Uh, radiotherapy is used. Radiation also can, can cause the fistula. The etiology is important as a treatment according to the etiology of this fistula. Can a picture of the patient? A few patients are asymptomatic. Most of patients report passage of flavors or stool through the vagina. Patient may also experience vaginitis or cystitis. At time, a foul smelling vaginal discharge develops. But Frank is told bear vagina usually occur only the one that has diarrhea. Clinical picture may include fecal incontinence due to associated anal sphincter damage also. While I doing physical examination, which is essential, this usually confirm the diagnosis and afford much information regarding the size and location, as we saw told you before, the function of the sphincters and the possibility of inflammatory bowel disease or local neoplasm. The suspicions of Crohn's disease should be high if there is any other abnormality of the rectal mucosa or a previous or recurrent coexisting fistula. Failure to recognize Crohn's disease can lead to an appropriate operative intervention and it can worsen the patient's situation. Diagnostic procedures we can use flexible endoscope, either the endoscope or colonoscope, is used to fully evaluate the possibility of inflammatory disease or malignancy to visualize also the. Uh, fistula when inflammatory bowel disease is in the differential diagnosis endoscope with biopsy must proceed in an operative approach to fistula because the treatment varies according to the cause. Treatment of the fistula when I find the fistula must indicate for operation or treatment while exception when the patient is unfit for surgery. Fistula, because the symptoms of rectovaginal fistula are so distressing, surgical therapy is almost always indicated. While people unfit for surgery, we can do it for operation. The treatment either medical, medical treat acute fistula of traumatic origin, including which is caused by obstetric and overhead trauma, and fistula is complicated by second infection of infectious origin, which uh, with local care, drainage of the abscess, and various antibiotic therapy. All uh, this medical allow tissue to heal for 6 to 12 weeks. Also, we can uh, advise the mission that remodification and the supplemental fibers can greatly diminish symptoms during this period. 
Many first trials resulting from obstetric or the trauma heal completely and requiring no further therapy. While rectovaginal fistulas of radiation origin are very difficult to treat surgically, and the medical therapy is often initiated, uh, recommended in this setting. Diet and the fibers are the mainstay of therapy. As a surgical management for fistulas, we have to good, do very operative, good, good, very operative details, complete mid mechanical power preparation or intestinal antiseptics. Although used in the past, the majority of rectovaginal fistulas are now Repaired without first performing a diverting colostomy. Uh, uh, before we colostomy is an essential step, while now we can proceed even without colostomy, as we'll do you later. We uh, uh, surgical methods either local or transabdominal. Local methods transenal advancement of flap uh, flap repair. The best results have been reported with this type of repair. The fistula is identified using the operating in the hope. A flap is outlined, extending at least 4 cm superior to the fistula. Also, local message the conversion to complete brain tear, as we will discuss later in the, uh, with the layer closure or simple fistulotomy. This procedure works well for small inovaginal fistulas, in which no center is involved in the, in, in the trait. While transabdominal methods used, transabdominal approaches are generally used for high rectovaginal fistulas when the fistula originating from anomalous radiation or occasionally lateral bowel disease. A fistula division and the closure without bowel resection. This is the simplest abdominal approach. We can do a fistula division without colostomy. Interposition of healthy tissue, such as omentum, may be used to suppress the sutural lines. While we can also use bowel resection when the tissues are abnormal because of radiation, inflammation, or onomias. Thank you.